Hello everybody, back here again, our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 2nd, and today was a rainy, um, rather interesting day, it rained and rained and rained, and then sun flying came out as I got far enough south, but I got this morning, woke up, had a couple things to get done, um, went ahead, and uh, it was just raining, like right off the bat, it was raining all morning, I had to finish loading up the, um, bike on the trailer with the car I had to finish loading the car and then uh, finish loading the van get all my stuff in there have my freezer and stuff put in it was raining so hard I really couldn't even put it in so I decided to go for a run got my running gear on went to go for my run so I could run in the rain I actually like running in the rain uh, went to take off and the rain had cut back enough I could finish loading my stuff so loaded up my electronic stuff and whatnot that needed to be loaded up and then from there um, it started raining really hard again so I said hell with it and went for my run, um, got that done, came back, got the rest of my stuff loaded up, flying down the road and head south. I made it down here, I don't know actually I am, the Oak Grove, I think it is. Um, I think it's Oak Grove, um, Kentucky, I think. Fuck, I don't know where I'm, I'm somewhere. But anyway, um, I'm right near the Kentucky line anyway. So that's how far I made it. I've got, I don't know, I think 800 miles, something left, like 12 hours worth of driving left tomorrow. Maybe it's 11 hours driving. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to it, to be completely honest with you. I'm in a Walmart parking lot. Um, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of idiots in this area driving around with way too lot of stereos and way too lot of exhaust and acting like goddamn buffoons. But hopefully I get a little bit of rest. I'm not planning on getting a lot of sleep, per se. Just more of a close my eyes and get some rest and chill out and hopefully be back up on the road um, real early and maybe even with enough time to pull over and get a nap again before sun up is kind of my plan so we'll see what happens and let you know from there I've got no news on my grandmother um, as far as I know I would think she would probably have been gone by now with no food no water no IVs no nothing but um, yeah they were the plan was to wait like six days to tell me that she'd even had the strokes and was you know in hospice so who knows how long to tell me that she's passed away so at this point I'm far enough away right now that I'm um, not going back to the funeral so I made my peace, I made my goodbyes with her, and she was non-responsive. I have no idea if she has any acknowledgement that I was even there and whatnot. So, but that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, no clue. So, who knows? I figure if they don't have, the family don't care enough um, to let me know what's going on, then it doesn't really matter if I'm there or not, I guess, the funeral. So, I basically just chilled out and just drove along. The van bounces a little bit weird. It needs new shocks. It needs a bunch of things, but I'm getting rid of this van after this trip um it's been a good van for me it's been a really good van for me it owes me nothing at this point i've had this thing for shit years upon years probably i had to look at the title i think i've probably had this thing 15 years maybe i've had it a long ass time so definitely had it for a long time and it's time to be gone so definitely definitely ready to be done with it once i get down there toes great but just a lot of little things that bugs the shit out of me so I'm done messing with it. I'm going to get rid of it and basically find myself a better van or just uh, make some upgrades to the truck and give myself a high topper for it and kind of convert it into a camper slash tow rig, but go from there. So anyway, um, that's pretty much where I'm at for the day. I just talked to Karen on the phone off and on some, text her back and forth and that. Um, she's still sick, unfortunately. I feel so bad I'm not there to take care of her or if nothing else, even just to cuddle up with her and watch the movies and whatnot. But it is what it is, and I'm just plugging along just nice, slow, and steady, and getting there safe. That's the most important thing. So, talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.